Approximately 250 babies are born every minute. However, some women do not have access to high-quality medical care or resources. Extra time waiting for medical help can lead to prolonged labour and complications during childbirth. Whilst normal labour pushes the baby down through the birth canal, for approximately 1 in 20 women, the baby is too large or descends in an abnormal fashion. The bladder can get trapped between the baby's head and the mother's pubic bone, and prolonged pressure can reduce blood flow to the tissue. If the tissue dies, an obstetric fistula, a hole between the vagina and the bladder or the rectum, may form. More than three quarters of women with obstetric fistula have endured labour that lasted three days or more. Obstetric fistula is repairable, but should only be done by an expert fistula surgeon. Fistulas may need a straightforward repair of the bladder, or more extensive surgery may be required. All cases of fistula are different, and one woman's experience can be very different from another's. Some women may still leak urine a bit even if the fistula has been successfully repaired and some women may require additional surgery. Luckily, obstetric fistula has been eradicated in many countries around the world. This is due to availability of good medical care and emergency surgery facilities. However, in some countries a high number of fistulas still occur, accompanied by feelings of rejection and isolation by the mother. Obstetric fistula can be prevented by a prompt diagnosis of abstracted labour and provision of a C-section, and by planning your pregnancy and delivery, including emergencies. For women who have had a fistula repaired in the past, it can be prevented by scheduling a C-section. Generating conversations about prevention will spare many women from suffering childbirth injuries and will ultimately improve quality of life for mothers and their babies.